Solving a linear equation with several occurrences of the variable fractional forms with binomial numerators. We're asked to solve for w and this looks kind of complicated because of those fractions that we have. But our plan is to get rid of those first by locating the LCD, the lowest common denominator for my fractions, and then we're going to use that to get rid of our fractions. So first of all, for the LCD, our denominators are 3 and 4, so the lowest common denominator is 12. Once we know that, we can actually multiply each one of the terms, this one, this one, and this one, multiply each one of those terms by 12 to get rid of our fractions. Since we're doing the left and right, that's what gives us justification for multiplying through by 12. So on the left hand side, we would have 12 times our 2w minus 1 over 3 minus, let me put in another 12 here, times 7w minus 4 over 4 and then even out here my negative 8 has to be multiplied by 12. So now we see what happens whenever we multiply by 12. Uh, for the ones that have denominators the denominator will cancel into that numerator so 3 goes into 12 four times. Now, since 4 is still outside of this parentheses, the 4 is going to have to actually be distributed to those terms inside the parentheses. So I've got 4 times 2w, which is 8w, and then 4 times minus 1, which is minus 4. Now, for the second term, we also have some canceling. 4 goes into 12 three times, but notice this time I'm distributing a minus 3 to each one of those terms inside the parentheses. So minus 3 times 7w is minus 21w. Minus 3 times minus 4 is a plus 12. And then on the right hand side I just have the minus 8 times 12 so minus 96. Okay, so no more parentheses, no more fractions. I'm ready to combine like terms and start solving this thing. So first looking at like terms, on the left I have an 8w and a negative 21w. They're on the same side, so I can put them together. The signs are different though, so I'm going to have to subtract and keep the sign of the larger. Subtracting gives me a negative 13w, negative keeping the sign of the larger. Then for the number portion, we've got minus 4 and a plus 12. We can put those together as well. Again, the signs are different, so I subtract and keep the sign of the larger. That gives me plus 8 equals the negative 96 on the other side. So definitely getting closer. To get the W term by itself, though, I would like to move the term that's with the W term the plus 4, I would like to move it to the other side by doing the opposite, subtracting 4, subtracting 8. So subtract 8 from both sides. Again, I got to do it to the left and the right. That will cancel the 8s. Minus 13w is all that I have left on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, the signs are the same. So I add and keep the sign. So that's negative 104. Last step, I need to get the W by itself. So I need to undo multiplying by negative 13 by dividing by negative 13. And I want to divide by negative 13 on both sides. So the 13's cancel, leaving me with just the W. And that's what I've been shooting for all along. On the right hand side, the negatives cancel, giving me a positive, and 104 divided by 13 gives me 8. So W equals 8 is our solution.